Okay, this is how uh, you use the Sonoff on your phone. So you just have to go to the Play Store, Play Store, and you have to download uh, the the Sonoff software. So if you click, if you turn on, if you type in Sonoff, it will come up with this Ewe link. This is the software for the Sonoff. It's called Ewe Link. Uh, then you just have to run it, run it, download it, and run it. Uh, lots for email address and stuff I think and then uh, open it I've already installed it so I'm not going through the install just just open it I've already got devices in there you can see the devices come up like this uh, then we'll add a new device I click on add new device it wants me to make the device flash so when it comes to one of these Sonoff switches you just hold it in for a little while and it the light goes solid and then starts to flash more rapidly so light gone solid then s r rapidly flashing one two three and then one two three okay and then I'll click next on here and it asks for my my Wi-Fi and then uh, it starts looking for the device it says it's found a second generation device which is that device and now it's linking with the device registering the device and then it wants me to name the device at the point where it comes to say name the device you can see that the light has gone solid green on the actual device so I'm going to call it uh, floodlight flood light ok complete that a device is connected to your Wi-Fi. Yeah, okay. Now I've got it in here as a floodlight. This is the, the my old my last video showed this be me wire this up. Uh, so now I can press on and the floodlight comes on. Press off and the floodlight come, goes off. So this is a uh, how you connect it to your phone. If you click on the actual floodlight, it comes up like this, and then you can turn it on and off on its own without the other devices but in this bit it gives you that share option I think that share option is I could share it with you as long as you had this app running on your your phone it would find you as as a user of the Ewe link and then I could share the, the, the control but not only do I share the control I can limit your share so I can give you a single share or a day share or something like that uh, not sure what, that, what it's good for but like I said imagination whatever your imagination can come up with maybe you can connect it to your door lock and, and then give someone access to your door for one day. But, okay, so there's lots of things. Then there's a schedule, which uh, which you could schedule it to come on and off whenever you feel like it, and a timer to, to turn it on for a certain amount of time. And I don't know what loop timer is, but uh, something I've got to work out, I suppose. Then up here, you've got settings and the history and stuff. Oh, the history must be good. Oh, wow, that's brilliant, isn't it? It tells you the history of when it was turned, when it came on and when it went off. That's really that. That can be quite useful to to know what's going on in your in your home. Uh, okay, in there, if we go to settings, uh, okay, you can rename the device in the settings in case you want to change the name of the device. Once you name this device, there's a in your uh, Alexa app, you you it'll pick it up. So when you uh, ask Alexa to search for a new device, it'll find a floodlight, but if you change the name of it, it'll find another name of it. So it's really good for when you're using it with Alexa. Uh, this is the sheer hardware control thing, uh, which I'm not going to use at the moment. Ah, maybe that, oh, oh, yeah, anyway. The power status it shows you, ca add camera, I don't actually know what that is, and the ID and the uh, MAC address, okay, that's cool. Uh, so, that's about it. Yeah, floodlight. I did think that was about it, but I realized that there was bits what were missing. So if I go to this floodlight and I go to the settings, I'm missing some stuffing there because there's, there's a bit that you can set how long the device comes on for. There's another bit that uh, allows you to do other things. Let me show you in another device. So if I go to my Christmas lights, I, in the settings of my Christmas lights, I have extras. I have uh, 
itching, which is how long you can set it to stay on for. So this one's set to stay on for 50 seconds. Yeah, so never mind how I turn it off, whether it's via the remote control, via my phone, via the button, it will turn itself back off in 50 seconds, which is really cool, cool to have. And disable lamp. These things, that I, ever since I've had them, it's always been a bit of a burden, the fact that it's the, the, the device has got a little green light on it. But you can, you can turn the little green light off so that there's no indication that the device exists until you actually use it. So you can have the green light showing or the green light not showing. These two bits aren't in the uh, new one I've just installed. And I've just realized why. It's because you have to update it. So uh, you update the, the firmware on the actual uh, Sonoff device. So if I go to settings, it must be somewhere to update. Oh, here it is. Look, in the firmware, this firmware on this one is 1.6.0, and that's the actual device. And if I go back to the other devices, like the Christmas light, then I go to settings, the firmware is 2.6.1. So that's why I've got this extra itching and thing. And these, these things are really great features to have. So I'm going to update the other one. I just thought I'd give you, I'd, it confused me for a second there. I thought I'd let you know that. Excellent. Thanks for watching. On my next video, I'll try to make a, show you how I use these devices around my own home. See the practical uses for them. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks again. Bye.